guys, what's going on? FY my pawn here, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2, Definitive Edition. Since we last left off, if I do recall correctly, we made our way through the cave, we did a bit of spelunking as it were, and for this stream what we're going to be doing is we're going to be completing that. But without further ado, let's get into things and see what happens. No need to sugarcoat too much of what we did last stream, because it was just basically clearing the place out of all the Void Vulcan. So, yeah, we'll go from there. Now, um, for those of you who are not aware, or at least for those of you on YouTube, it's a little later than I'm streaming. That is because of life stuff and me being lazy, but regardless, I'm still going to get the video out, still going to get the stream out, just for you guys. Because I did feel like I was going to miss out if I didn't do it now, so... Better now than later, right? <laughs> but I guess we'll see how things play out. I'm not a fan that I keep unequipping my uh, gear, appearance-wise, but... What can I really do? The best I can really do is just get something better equipped, right? Regardless, let's see... Do we need anything new equipped? I don't think we do. Yeah, we got a nice little pair there. If I could, I would identify these immediately to get something new. But I don't think I got that luxury right now. Alright, let's see. Where on the map should we go? I think we are going to make our way northward and see what we can find there. I am probably going to be sticking with the Wand and Shield sort of build-up, because this is going to help my survivability, I think. At least that's what I'm predicting is going to be the case. Regardless, I am still going to need thievery at some point, so I will have to invest in that at some point. But all that and more in due time. For now, though, let's start by moving over here. And let's save here. There we go, we'll save that. And let's begin by summoning a new minion here. It appears this possessed rogue is cursed. Okay, so it seems like he's not trying to do anything here. I can't hear nothing. Nothing but that voice. It won't stop, it never stops. The dwarf starts to sob quietly with his hands pressed over his ears. I'll save you. The dwarf snaps around to look at you, panic filling his sapphire eyes. It won't stop. Since we locked up Mordus, his boys, it just won't stop. He grabs your arm, pawing at you while his mouth moves silently. His blue eyes swirl, turning an oily black as you watch. Oh dear. That's not good. Sorry, buddy. Okay, I guess you're just going to stab me in the back. Lovely. <laughs> Not exactly the situation I was hoping for, but okay. Let's throw down an elementalist here. Here we go. That'll give us one more round. Let's see, are we gonna get attacked? No, so I'm just gonna back up here. There we go. And violence begins. Okay, that's fire. What are you gonna do? You are gonna hold your turn, which is not good. Okay then. Violence. <laughs> oh, poor summons getting demolished. That's perfectly fine though. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay, so you have a lot of magical armor, but not a lot of physical. 
Hmm. I could do magical armor. There's no harm in it, but I think I might do better if I use physical here. So I'm going to cause them to bleed. I will probably also follow up with... I guess infect to reduce their damage. That will save us some problems for the future. And they're also shocked. I guess I will also follow up with Shackles of Pain because they don't have an armor value. And I can take advantage of that by binding us together. So that way I take less damage. Oh, there we go. Oh, magic armor. Interesting. Okay, what are you gonna do? You're going to blast everyone with fire. Spectacle. More fire, okay. You're gonna launch fire or ice against the road. Interesting choice. You wriggling little worms. Oh. Okay, violence. <laughs> Alright, we should be able to handle this. The Possessed Rogue shouldn't be too hard to handle. Uh, for starters, we're going to silence the Rogue here. Make him less likely to be a problem. I deal with the Vicious Eggs, but they're going to be uh, hard to deal with, I think. So I need to decide who I'm going to be targeting. I think I focus on the Elementalist. Yeah, let's focus on the elementalist here. There we go. These eggs are obviously going to hatch. But as long as they come over to me, then they're going to get charmed, so... It only makes my job easier if they do so. Alright, what are you going to do? You're going to teleport the elementalist over there. Okay. Alright, elementalist... My own elementalist, rather, is going to start attacking the rogue. Okay, the Voidling's gonna run around, do some antics, probably. Ow, a throwing knife against me. Not good. Okay, more physical damage. Not good. We will use Heart of Steel to increase our defenses. And we will use this chance to... Frogify the Possessed Rogue. And I guess we will go with Vaporize which would turn everything into a foggy cloud. Now, will I hit both of them? I don't think I will, but I'll try. Yeah, we're gonna focus on here. There we go. Boom. It's not a lot, but it'll do. Okay, Fire Slug's taking some damage. That'll be fine. A pretty much a lot of damage. <laughs> Ooh, Ice Fan. Okay, that's some damage. Elementalist has taken more, but we should be fine. Oh, Oil. Interesting choice. Alright. Let's see, how do I want to handle this? I'll start by using poison on the possessed elementalist. There we go. Uh, I can use dominate mind on the road. No, I cannot. Never mind. So for now, I'm going to summon up a corpse and get it ready for next turn. Not sure how uh, the elementalist got harder steel, but whatever. Works for us. All right, fire. Fire and brimstone, a plenty. Okay, the elementalist is running away. That's fine. Just means we got another body to add to the pile. Okay, we're gonna lose our summons this turn, probably. So we're gonna obviously have to replace some. Okay, let's activate. Okay, so we can't get the Possessed Elementalist here, not unless we move out, move away. For now, we are going to summon 
Let's summon a skeleton. Shallow Grave might not help here, but I can use it to chance a totem here. That'll summon some minions. And we can use this Vicious Voidling as a way to get more. But we can't unsummon creatures, so we'll just have to make do for now. In the meantime, I guess I can focus on... Yeah, I'll, I'll focus on them. Why not? Oh, let's get the kill. The assassin goes in. Attacks from behind, if need be. And there we go. Violence. Violent damage. Okay, there goes the slug. There goes the summoner. And now we've only got Bucket Boy. And they're immune to charm, so... Hey. Alright, let's throw down a... Well, most of the corpses are cleared, so now I can just focus on summoning. We're going to summon a Vicious Voidling. We are then going to follow up with a Spooter. And I guess I can just basic attack if need be, but I'm going to go for Mute here, so that way you can't cast any special spells. There we go. Damage comes in crazy-like. <laughs> Okay, that's a miss. You will die. You will okay, that's a provoke. Nope, that's some serious damage across the board. Ow. And that's a kill. That clears up everything nice and clear. And we get some nice little goodies around. Although I'm not happy that we uh, had to kill the guy, but, you know, what can you expect here? Okay, there's a bunch of barrels. Shove fish, red snapper, not bad. Let's say it's... Okay, so there's a bunch of fish that are still good, per se. Most of it's just void-esque in nature. Okay, well, we're gonna take everything void that we can. And in chance, we might get some nice fancy items, so that is also another merit to doing so. Take the Void Tainted stuff. A Meat Cleaver. It's money, so I'll grab that. Elementalists. Nice. Barrel Chamber Key. We're going to take the barrel. There we go. We'll take the Unidentified Ring. It's a nice little trinket that we can add to our list. The Voidling has a pitcher. We can use that, that's for sure. The Umber Monkfish might be useful. Open up the barrel. Nothing inside. Fish pile might have something. Alright. Barrel. Take the herring. The Kate. Alright. Fish rack and pile have some fishies. We're probably going to need to ditch most of this fish at some point, because that's a lot of fish that we don't need. Okay, fish pile, yoink, meat cleaver, a okay, barrel. It's a lot of fish, to say the least. Ooh, a belt. Perfect. That's another thing that we could use. <laughs> Okay, we'll check the crates here. Probably nothing in them, but with our chances at luck, it never hurts to make sure. Alright, from here, we continue on. I'm gonna save here, though, just be sure. Because you never know what's just weighing around the corner. Okay, we're saved. Okay, we got some enemies over here that we can deal with, so... Alright, let's throw down some... You know what? Hello! Oh! Okay. There's actually an enemy here. Okay. Not fun. Whew. 
Okay, we've got a bunch of... Okay, so that's a lot of magical armor, so we're probably not going to be able to get a ton done here. We'll summon what we can, though. We're going to start by summoning physical units. Uh, we're going to need a body, but I don't think we can actually bring one here. Uh, let's see. We are going to activate, spread our wings here to get some distance. Because obviously we need to get as much distance as we possibly can from the uh, Void Woken here. And I won't be able to summon anything else here, so... Let's end our turn here for now. Let the assassin do its work. And hey, if these guys burst open, then... Well, there you go. We've got some damage going. Okay, Hail Strike. That's probably going to deal a lot of damage to the rogue. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Stunned the rogue, even. It's not good. Okay, we are going to go into here. We are going to summon a totem. We are then going to use the dead sorcerer here as a fodder. Oh! Okay, you're in not in battle, but we can change that. There we go. Oh! They're now in battle. And I think I can get away with another summon, but I'm not going to chance it for now. Instead, I'm going to use the Mosquito Swarm to apply bleeding. Oh! Greater Purge. Drain source from your target, ignoring armor. Oh, I see. So that's what the Bone Widow gets. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, there goes the road. Alright. Interesting violence. Here comes another Voidling. Okay, how do I want to do this? Hmm. Let's see, I guess I could start by charming the Volatile Voidling. There we go, Voidling's Charms. We can summon another totem here. Get some more damage out. There we go. Uh, I will end my turn for now. And we'll go from there. The charm totem should be a good distraction, to say the least. Or the voidling, rather. And we should be good. The violence is soon to follow, probably. Yep. Our summons are going to be taking a lot of damage, though. So. But hey, the Bone Widow's there for damage, so... What is... Hmm. These are some really weird buffs. Sacrifice half of your target's armor to the Void and deal 99 to 100 Void... Or 90 to 100 Void damage. No field. What are these things? What? <laughs> what is happening to my bone widow? It's becoming an almighty being. Like, it's silly. <laughs> okay, let's see. We are going to summon the slug. We are then going to follow up with an Elementalist, I think. There we go. And then we will follow up with a Totem, I'm thinking. Yeah, let's just get another Totem. Why not? Cool. More summons, some Totems, some Arcane Magic coming in. There we go. Even more fire damage. Nice. Aha! 
Okay, there goes all my totems. Thank you, Fire Slug. Not really. Although, I guess we got fodder for corpses now, so that's good. And the fire, Necrofire is dealing a lot, so there you go. Void Aegis. Removes all non-permanent effects from target and red. What? Void... Um... Okay... These are some insane buffs this spider is getting. Alright, you know what? Let's just finish this before I, you know... Get into too much antics. Okay, three sets of damage there. Mute. Boom. Done. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Although, the fire is excessive, but whatever. We can easily wait for that fire to clear, and we should be good. Nothing like a uh, quick clear of the area should be fine. There we go. Only smoke now. Take all that. Done. I don't think there's anything around here, but I can still check to be certain, so I'll save and overwrite. Just to be sure. Egg Cluster always has weird effects of bleeding, so that's interesting. Grab those jelly rooms for air resistance potions. You never know when you're going to need them. Okay, anything around here worth noting? Not really, aside from the barrels, obviously. Uh, anything here? No, aside from that. Egg, of course. Anything over here? Uh, no, not much aside from the barrels. I'll take off that barrel, though. Okay, where is the barrel? Hmm. Boom. Herring and placate. Another fish here. There we go. Seems like we can climb up and down from there, so that's good. Anything over here? Nope. Alright, seems like it's a pretty washed up empty area. Aside from, you know, jumping from to and fro. So, if you were playing a rogue-ish character, then you could probably take advantage of this area by jumping around a lot. Okay, we're gonna save before we go further. There might be an enemy here. Especially with these eggs here, after all. Anything? No, but there is a save. Oh. Eggs are angry. <laughs> there you go. Just deal with that. And one more for good measure. There we go. Nice, some serious magic damage coming in. <laughs> okay, let's destroy. Yeah, let's destroy this vicious egg's HP significantly. And then we'll just hit it with uh, two wand hits. One there, one there. I guess we could have waited for the uh, eggs to hatch, but I have no reason to do so. Besides, we get nice little drops anyways. Regardless, it's a little less experience than I would probably go for, but whatever. I'm not here for, you know, perfect things here. I'm just here to get the job done. For now, let's just explore around, see what we find. Uh, it doesn't appear to be anything here, so I guess we just move back down to here. 
And I guess we check the middle area here, maybe? Oh no, wait, we've already been here. So... From here, I guess we can go back over this direction, maybe? See what we find. Uh, I will save, though, just to be safe. And we are going to be making our way, I guess, this direction? So that way we can make our way over... I guess we can open this gate here, because we want to get up to this area here. See what's going on here. Might be able to find something interesting, if we're lucky. Mind you, if we are lucky. Okay, so this gate is not going to open for us. That's a little annoying. But I mean, there is a side passage that we can utilize, so... No harm, no foul. I would have figured we found the key by now, but... Yeah. Worst case, I can always just destroy it. So, it's not like it's a big deal. Yeah, for now, what I'll do is I will just... Activate flight here. Hop over. I will clamber up here and see if we can open the weapon chamber door. Worst case, we'll just do damage to it. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do that. Although I can see what I can jump to. Not that I'm going to need to. But, yeah. I guess we're just attacking with our wand here. It's fine. I will need to repair my wand, though, if I do this. But, small price to pay. There we go. Bust through the weapon chamber door. And one more. Done. We will save. And let's check this place out. Bunch of interesting items here. Buckets, barrels, and all that. Uh, not a barrel I wanted, though. Toss that back. Okay. Read this. Probably should sell some books, honestly. I don't really need all of them. A lot of armaments, though, I must admit. Alchemist. Hmm. Misery's Mirror. Interesting. Got a shovel, a weapon chest, a knife. Payload of the Peacemaker is here. I can feel its power. Yeah, no kidding. Jeez. Quite the payload here, that's for sure. For now, let's equip our mask here. Let's swap over to Elf. Temporarily, mind you. Okay. We are going to consume this leg because it might lead to what happened here. Okay, it didn't give me the knowledge I wanted. Okay, I guess it just doesn't have knowledge. Period. Unless, of course, it was a lie. L let me load that, actually. Maybe I just didn't eat it as an elf. I think I did. Hmm. I'll check it just to be sure. Alright. Okay, let's be patient. Wait and wait. Okay, let us equip the mask. And equip that, equip this. Alright, lizard, human, elf. Here we go. Boom. Okay, we are now elf form, guaranteed. Okay, toss that there, open this, grab these, there we go. 
Alright, dead dwarf. Bloody leg. Okay, let's consume. Okay, no, it did it just didn't have anything. Okay, never mind. Alright, let's transform back. We have our tyrant's charm going. Okay. Payload of the peacemaker is here. I can feel its power. I'll take that plate because it's sure to be expensive. Alright. I highly doubt we're going to convince this girl that we are, you know, here for, you know, good reasons or good intentions. So I guess we'll just slip on over. See what's going on. Although it doesn't seem like she's focused on us, so that's good. We can just grab what we want here. We'll deal with the rest later. Interesting little shield. It's much weaker than what we've got, but it's interesting all the same. Justinia's notes. Hmm. Um, I would love to take the oil bearer with me if I could, but I don't think I got that luxury. You see yourself in the mirror. It's quite a sight. Quite the barrel. Alright, a cupboard with gold. Nothing too crazy. Uh, meat cleaver is always gold. Alright, Rivalon fries. We'll take the... You know, that. Take everything here. It seems like they have the ship's manifest here. Uh, miscellaneous weapons of ancient origin... Saltwater containers. Why is why it's here though? That's a question for something. Alright, excruciating echo. Summoning boost, that's not bad. Stormforger. An arrow theurge stick. Or it's a mace rather. But still, it's something. Uh let's go down here, I guess. But we're gonna have to break these uh yeah, we're gonna have to break some things first before we do. So, well, maybe not even break. I just need to move. I'll move them to the fire. Why not? Okay, uh, weapon chamber key. We'll grab that. Okay, otherwise it's pretty dang useless. So, for now... Can I use spirit vision here? Hello. Who are you? The spirit stares at you, through you. What? What's going on about this place? I wasn't exactly expecting to see Ballista down here. When she opens her mouth to speak, her voice seems to drift to you from far away, as if half dreamed. We keep the shipments here. That's what's meant for ships. It ends up in our carts, trundling away. Where are they headed? <laughs> Ox! The barrels are running all the way to Ox. And when they get there, the air will turn to screams. Dying, choking, screams. Death fog? You're talking about death fog. It woofs on the wind. The black ring choked. Ox will choke. They will all choke. You should leave for the Hall of Echoes. Your business is finished here. I should go. I should go. I suppose that I should go. Yeah. The spirit keeps glancing back. How can I help? All right. Uh, well, I can't really talk with you much, but I could probably talk with the rat here. Hey, buddy. The rat gives you a malevolent stare. I'll nest in your soul. I'll kill you stone dead. Oh, back off. I've done no harm. I'll do you harm. I'll do you harm. I was on the Peacemaker and I'll do you harm at the elbow. I'll do you harm. What did you see in the Peacemaker's hold? 
saw nothing, saw nothing, but smelled everything. Smelled life, smelled death, smelled it seeping out of the barrels. Death, death sailing into the rocks. The rat crouches low and gives you an evil look. I'll be moving on just as soon as I find my way out here. Huh. Ain't no way out but an hole in the ground, an hole in the ground. If... Do you, ha do you have a specific hole in mind? Ha! Dig your hole wherever you like, dig your hole wherever you like. The void is coming and all is nothing. Dig your hole wherever you like, that's the key. The rat crouches low and gives you an evil look. Okay, then. Maybe... Alright, well, let's save here, and let's go have a chat with What's-Her-Face here. The dwarven woman hums to herself as she works with total focus and concentration. Her ears twitch as you approach, but she does not turn to you. Yes. What are you doing here? She turns to peer up at you, surprise and mistrust evident in her intelligent face. And what business is it of yours, outsider? Well, it's my business. My business is hurting people, and who won't tell me what I want to know. Please, you don't look like you have it in you. Long legged Freddy. Leave me to work in peace. All right. Well, suit yourself. Let's see. Hanok, this is our third commute. Again, we recovered the Death God delivery device you made to Vanra's instructions, but we need your expertise to repair and attune it again. Some of our war chests have been set aside in your endeavor. Misses to you in the Black Pits, but we understand you're adrift with fields presently. Hopefully, you're wet here. Hurry up and hope this letter finds you. The rest of this letter is covered in. A quite sizable ink plot. Blots. Okay. Read this. A bunch of death fog is being referenced here. This is impossible. Justinia's jackals. Everyone knows the dwarves are at the absolute peak of military prowess on Rivalon. Naysayers will point out the lack of historical martial victories won by Justinian's armies. Yet, of course, such histories are biased. Okay. So basically a lot of events. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't think keeping her alive is the right choice, especially considering this area is quite literally built to be a death fog caravan. Maybe. So no. Maybe. Sorry to say, but I think she's going to have to go down. Boom. Yeah. I really don't care. You're not You are a danger to everybody. Okay, so here's what we are going to do. We are going to start by... Alright, we're going to start by summoning a warrior in front of you. So, we'll summon a skeleton warrior in front of you here. We will then summon an assassin back there. That'll give us one more point to work with. And I guess I will use Shackles of Pain here because you do not have a magical armor. And this will reduce the chances of us taking full damage from whatever we come across. That's fine. Okay, Warrior's gonna go ham. Warrior's gonna taunt here. She's gonna be more focused on the Warrior, but she's gonna be taking some damage along the way. Say bye bye now. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure. That's a miss. Alright, we are going to use lead. We are then gonna follow up with infect. 
and I can't exactly use Vaporize, so I'll hold my turn for now. The Warrior will be busy focusing on dealing damage here. And she's in a bit of a pickle. As she throws a frost grenade and does nothing to it. <laughs> okay. Violence. And she's gone. But, hey. Getting rid of her is a better course of action than anything else we could have done. Okay. I mean, I can attack it, but I don't want, don't know what it is. All right, well, let's talk the with her. Spirit examines her hands, waving them back and forth, seemingly fascinated with the ethereal trail of source that drifts from them. My word, they were right. The mystics and clerics were all right. There is life beyond death. Well, how does death compare to life so far? Well, it's nice to know that nothing bad can happen to me now, right? Right? How has a scientist like her believe in afterlife? Belief or not, how can I argue with my own existence? The empirical evidence is making me reconsider a lot of my assumptions. What a time to be alive. I mean, death. Nothing excites me more than being proven wrong. <sighs> now there's a whole new world of thinking to be done. I just need to figure out a way to jot down the notes from my last project. <laughs> when I can't hold a pen. Yeah. I don't exactly know what's going on here. I don't think I can actually damage this thing, but I'm gonna try. I don't even know if it can be even damaged. I don't think it can. Which annoys me. I wish I could destroy it, but I don't think I can, so... I guess that's just off the table for now. Okay, I can't get back there unless, of course, I do some finagling here. Which is going to require a bit of a leeway moving using the Spread My Wings ability. Probably. So, let's start using it. Here we go. We'll grow some wings here. We will hop right down here. And let's see what's in here. See if there's anything fancy. Oh, hello. There's a special hole that you could have used to get in there. Stakes on me, I guess. That I get, get, get the chance to actually show it off. Oh well. That's what happens when you don't have a high perception. You just miss things like that. Regardless, I think that's most everything done here. Uh, there's a little bit up here that I have yet to explore, so... I'm gonna need to figure out how I'm gonna get to there. I guess I need to go... Hmm... Yeah, I guess I need to go up. Hold on, let me check just to be sure. Hmm. Alright, so I'm currently in this corridor here. Okay, is... This is facing north. Okay, so... If I go west from here... I can get as far as here before I'm blocked off, so I won't be able to access that. So I've basically explored most, if not this whole uh, lower layer. Okay. In that case, the best way forward is to go back whence we came. And see if we can find some other uh, tidbits around here. Who knows, maybe we'll find a uh, somebody to help us in our... Uh, endeavors. But we'll see. We'll see. 
All right. Now we're going to save here. Because it's looking like we've got ourselves a bit of a fight to deal with. A lot of uh, wet spots, though, so let's be aware of that as we go here. You made it all the way here, you creeping little maggots. Have you wriggled up to bow to me? As Lohar sent you to beg forgiveness for his sins. My lord had faith. He came to me when Lohar failed the queen. And as a reward for my service, he has granted me his favor. He has granted me Mord Akain. Hmm. Mord Akin. That ritual is older than time. What magic with the power to decimate armies? Armies? Merely sheep with swords. Minds that beg to be controlled. But Mord Akeim is so much more than the power to have those beasts slaughter each other. And it is mine. By the Lord's grace, the power is mine. Oh boy. Fireworks. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. We get into an immediate fight with this guy. No mercy. Dude's looking to, uh, really ruin us in some degree. Mind you, his minions aren't as strong, but still, they're packing a punch. Really, I do not want to deal with him directly, preferably, so attacking him is not the way to go. However, we can certainly attack his allies, to say the least. Now that said, I'm probably going to want to get into a better position, so I'm going to use Spread My Wings here. Have the summon take the brunt of what I'm going to be deal you know, dealing with. And I'm just going to be jumping around to avoid any confrontation directly, if I can help it. Alright, we got some barrels, crates, that sort of stuff, nothing too crazy. I am going to use this chance to use the cat summon as well. Get ourselves some extra offense here. And we'll go from there. Anything's better than nothing, I'd say. Alright, a direct line ray. Nice. I can work with that. Okay. They're having a bit of a flap here. Gonna start attacking the cat, that's fine. It's a ample distraction to say the least. Okay. My poor summon's gonna be taking some hits, that's fine. More than anything, I just want to avoid as much damage from what's his face as possible, Mortis. I wanna keep juggling them, basically. You summon the distraction. Anything else comes my way, I'll avoid it. Oh, throw dust. Interesting choice. And you're going to be marching your way across. Lovely. Okay, it'll be my turn next. What are you going to do? You're going to attack the slug, I presume? No, you're going to attack me. Interesting choice. And you're bypassing my armor, which is not fun. Okay. Let's see, how do I want to handle this? If I can reduce the magical armor off... Oh wait, I can get the sorcerer here. Okay, so we're going to use Dominate Mind on you. Okay, never mind. I forgot, these guys are possessed, so this might even be... Yeah, this is a, this is a rough time. Ah, okay, um, how do I want to do this?
I guess summon a caster here. There we go. That'll have to do for now. I'm gonna have to hope that I can uh, withstand some of this damage. Worst case, I just got damage across the board, so there we go. I just need to commit violence. A lot of it. Oh, okay. Sorcerer is moving. Should move in to deal damage to the elementalist directly. <laughs> Kaboom. Fire damage cross. Nice. Cat's gonna go. Oh, no, wait. They're gonna attack the elementalist. Rip. <laughs> oh, God. Four cats probably gonna go down. Yep, there we go. But hey, distraction distractions are intended. Okay, you are gonna climb up. You're going to target the slug. Okay. Apparently, you're gonna be targeting Sir Laura. Interesting choice, I must admit. Okay. Alright, let's unearth a bone spider right here, specifically. There we go. Uh, I could throw a wicked concoction here and get everybody here into a precarious situation here. If I do it right, that is. I'll hit all three of them, and that would be fine. Okay, that's a bunch of magical damage across the board. Shackles of Pain would be really nice here, so I could target one that has no physical armor. I don't think that's something that we have here. Well, I guess I could target Sir Lore and have uh, him tank it. Uh, I've got one turn of floating, so I should probably get some distance here. Yeah, let's get some distance, actually. We'll use flight to get some distance onto this ledge here. What? Uh, Mortis, can you stop? <laughs> Dude was just ranting. <laughs> oh, that that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Oh. Slugs going bonkers. Alright, Spooder's taking a lot of damage. Kind of expected it, but there you go. Alright. Yeah, no, the Bone Widow's taking a lot of damage, huh. Oh. Dead Dwarf is completely gone, okay. Mortis Akaim, okay. <laughs> That's something, I suppose. Oh boy. My poor... My poor defenseless spider. <laughs> well, there goes my spider. I was kind of expecting it, but... Man, that's a lot. Okay, so... Jumping over there is not the smartest move I could do. Obviously. So, how am I going to make this work? Let's see. There's no corpses I can utilize here, so that's fine, I guess. How do I want to play this? Hmm. Well, I've got one summoned currently up. I should probably get more. Let's see, I can't charm them because they're all possessed anyways. 
so Dominate Mine comes to be pretty useless. I could distract them with a cat, so there is that option. So I guess I'll set up for that. Okay, hmm. Uh, how do I do this here? Hmm. I could go for a very precarious Thunder Grenade here. If I hit these guys in the barrel, this should actually burst the barrel, I think. There we go. Gets poison, fire, all that shenanigans. That gives us a body to work with. And I guess I can use Arcane Volley here. And whittle down his magic. He himself, I don't think, is immune to charm, is he? Uh, he's immune to... He's not... Poison Aura, but no actual immunity to Charm, I do believe. Yeah, he's just got a reduced uh, stat duration. Status duration, rather. Ooh, Fire Cross, nice. <laughs> Poor Cat's gonna be taking a lot, so that's fine. It's meant to be a distraction. Steve is taking some hits again. Oh boy. I think block is coming in clutch. Ow. Ow. There goes the cat. Slug is now the next target. Dare me to charm though. I am gonna have to remove his magic armor before I can start using such charms though. So that is something to keep in mind. Okay. Okay, I can't summon anything just yet, so that is not an option. I could do an elemental totem, but what would be the point, right? Infect would not be the best course here. Hmm. How do I want to play this? Uh, we've got a few love grenades, but that's not going to help here. Frost grenades are not going to help. Flaming Nail Bomb would deal physical, but that's not what we want here. Hmm. I could do more fire damage with a Firestorm Grenade. Or I could throw down a Poison Cloud Grenade to get some poison out there. It would target a small area of them. And if I target it here, that would actually deal poison damage as well. So if I do this... That applies poison to her, at least. Hmm. If I use Mute here, he can't use any special abilities. There you go. And I can set Bleed on Mortis Kime, if I really wanted to. Or I could set it on the Possessed Sorcerer here. You know what? Heart of Steel is going to be more important here. There we go. Restore our armor, get some more HP armor defense. It'll be fine. Okay, there goes this summon, and now we're going to be harassed by various units here. At least for a little bit. Ow. 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 Stop. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to use shields up here if I want to defend myself. I'm going to use Fire Slug here to give myself some defense here. Alright, I'm going to unearth a corpse right beside this Possessed Sorcerer. I'm going to make it an Assassin here. And then I'm going to restore my armor, if I can, with a Armor Potion. Large physical armor potion. Here we go. That'll give us some defense against the enemy. Nice. Assassin will do the rest against that guy. While they do magic damage. And I can charm the Mordekheim when I get the chance. 
which will make them attack the other allies here. Which works for me. Okay, what are you gonna do? You're gonna damage our units, rip. Kind of expected that, though. Oh boy, the spores deal a ton of damage to... Oh, actually, no, it doesn't deal that much damage to the assassin anyways. Okay, you're gonna jump across. Interesting choice. Okay, you're gonna attack again. Lovely. Oh, you're jumping across. Cool. That is a miss. And that is a hit. Perfect. Now that I think about it, there's a lot of bodies over there. I could use this to our, my advantage, couldn't I? Alright. I'm gonna take that sorcerer and convert it into a undead unit. Probably another corpse in there, yep. Uh, we can't get one there, so that's fine. Let's see. I guess I will throw down a totem over... Well, Totem might not do it, actually, so we're gonna get Arcane Volley here. Do that. Uh, we are going to use Vaporize here, I think. Yeah, Vaporize will turn this into magic damage across the board. There we go. next I guess I guess I just need to move away give myself some distance for now I just need some distance and some time to actually recoup okay thankfully they're not regenerating any magic armor so that's good the armor from the warriors doing really good work poison dart has just helped me <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to restore my magic armor at some point, though. It's my goodness. Oh! Hi! Hello, how are you? Um... Sorry to say, but I'm not interested in, uh, being anywhere near you. So I'm just gonna casually... Let's move one AP over here gonna casually just jump over so that way you can't touch me all right we are going to turn you into a frog so you don't do anything to me thankfully I blocked that <laughs> I will be using neither of you to help me beyond that point end our turn there let you get angry. There is still a body that we can utilize here, so we're going to take advantage of that. And the possessed sorcerer comes to try and harass me. Probably. Nope, it just decides to run away. <laughs> okay, the assassin's going to assassinate, obviously, so that's good. You are jumping over to attack my assassin. Interesting choice. Uh, you have only just healed me with that poison. I would use the Possessed Sorcerer, but I cannot see him. For now, I'm going to focus on using a... If I could, I'd prefer to use a poison... Uh, maybe not poison here. Let's see, what can I do? I can do magic damage. And because I got high ground, I can actually deal even more. So this would get the guaranteed silence. There we go. And in fact... Uh, I am muted, so I can't actually do anything. So... 
I guess I just need to deal enough damage to possess sorcerer here. A quick strike would work. Um, do I do it to Mortis Sakai? No, we'll do it to possess sorcerer here. Boom. And our turn there. Okay, you're going to move up. You're going to cause me some problems. But you're dealing poison damage, so whatever. <laughs> okay, warrior's going in. Attacking the possessed sorcerer. Okay, possessed sorcerer is marching away. Mortis of time. Cut of HP. What level is he? Level 12. We're level 11. Okay. Rip my summons, I suppose. Okay, um... I can't summon anything just yet, so let's see. I can't cast any scrolls either, so that sucks. So I guess I'm stuck with... Grenades. Alright, let's use a Tremor Grenade on you. Knock you down. Okay, that didn't do anything. Lovely. Okay, a uh, Poison Cloud Grenade on both of us would do fine. Oop. We are then going to... Oh yeah, no Earth Immunity. Okay, so I can't actually do that to you. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe a cluster grenade? There we go. And let's do a... Let's do a poison dazzle grenade, because it doesn't seem like you're immune to poison. There we go. That'll have to do, because I can't exactly use it magic. So I'm sort of just hoping. Okay. Somehow you can see me, which is interesting. Stop hitting me, please. That hurts. Ow. Uh, I still can't cast anything. Lovely. Okay, smoke it up. I'm gonna move one AP into the poison. I'm going to down a poison item. There we go. And I guess I will down a large physical potion just to get some armor back. There we go. Could you please stop? <laughs> My pain. I really should have just anchored you before I left. That's gonna hurt. Okay. Now it's time for violence. Okay. Slug. Uh, this sorcerer is not down, so I can actually use them as a conduit. Do this. And then, let's throw down a... Let's throw down a blood totem, why not? There we go. They're gonna attack that. Caster's gonna go nuts. <laughs> and fire. Lots of this. Whoosh. <laughs> oh dear. Now it's going ham. Oh dear. Thankfully it missed me, but jeez. <laughs> Not good. 
We're probably gonna need a bounce after we get the chance. God, this is a pain. I can feel your pain, God Woken. It gives me such joy. Okay, another slug. Uh, we are definitely gonna need a jump, so I'm gonna go spread my wings here. There we go. I'm going to jump... Well, before I do jump away, I'm going to use Shackles of Pain on this possessed sorcerer here. There we go. I am then going to follow up with Heart of Steel. And I can't move, because I forgot that I gotta move when I do that. But I deal enough damage to get rid of one. And there goes my summon. <laughs> okay, Caster goes nuts here. Casting ice frozen damage. Oof, interesting. Okay, there we go. Okay. I could probably do... Okay, I'm gonna need to use... I'm gonna use Arcane Volley first. But if I can target both of you... Let's see, can I target both of you, actually? Come on, I'm so close to targeting both of you, hold on. Let's see. There we go. Just barely. Got both of them, though. Now, I can use Witch's Brew. Guarantee both of them. Both of them are now frogs. <laughs> now, I can summon myself another slug. And not have to worry. Because both will be taking some serious magic damage from here. Alright, there goes the Possessed Sorcerer. Oh, it's now an undead that's under my command. I think. Oh, no wait, it's just an undead sorcerer that's under the command of the enemy, I think. <laughs> Either way, we should be fine. Alright, Mord Mordus Akam is uh, now no longer a froggo. Okay, we are going to make a Bone Widow. Using... Are you serious? That's not what I wanted. Alright, turn that Possessed Sorcerer into a Bone Widow as a good distraction. Okay, I'm going to use the Frog Antics again. Alright, a good distraction to say the least. We will Vaporize just to be extra damaging here. As we slowly damage Mortis account with the damage. Really should have dealt with the the best sorcerer, whatever. <laughs> Violence. Okay, now it's just a uh, HP game. We just gotta deal enough damage that uh, he's going to have enough. He's just gonna suffer. Gotta whittle him down slowly but surely. That's all. Okay, damage. Damage. <laughs> okay, casting. Interesting. Okay, well there goes the Possessed Sorcerer. I'm not gonna cast it though. Or that ability anyways. 
Okay, we are going to use Mute so it can't use any abilities. We are then going to throw in a bleed here. There we go. And what abilities could we use? I guess we can summon another totem. Not blood totem, but a fire totem maybe? Yeah, fire totem. There we go. Get some fire damage in. Excess fire. Alright, that's a frozen status. <laughs> Another turn delayed. Okay, it's just a uh, juggling game then, I guess. Alright, more fire. I guess I could infect here, but I don't see a reason to do so. Hmm. I guess for now, let's focus on shield up here. That'll give us some more defenses. And then I'll use Heart of Steel here. Give out some restoration on the Heart of Physical, so that way I'm at least getting full recovery. There goes my summon. Okay, that's more fire. Lovely. <laughs> cool. Oh, it's just jumped down. Interesting choice. Fine Totem goes down. Okay, you're jumping back up, and there we go. <laughs> okay, because you're within the vicinity, we're going to activate this. Get rid of your, or reduce your damage significantly. Okay, what can we do here? I guess I will use this chance to summon an assassin here to deal some significant damage. There we go. There we go. Let them uh, go. They're gonna deal significant damage there by assassination damage. You know the drill. Magic damage comes in. In intense robes. There we go. Oh, poor uh, assassin's gonna be taking some hits. Oh, there goes my summon. Oh. My spider has decided to warp over. Interesting. I can't summon a slug just yet, so I will have to hold off. But I can use this chance to summon another totem here. I will also cause bleeding. And I'm going to use Shackles of Pain to discourage him from attacking me at least. So there we go. That'll make him less likely to attack me and make my life a little easier. I will also throw down and turn these fire into clouds. Into blood clouds, fire clouds, that sort of thing. He is going for the totem, as expected. Or he's going for me, I'm not sure. Nope, nope, never mind. Just a ton of things against me. <laughs> okay, Mortis is taking some damage. Nice. Oof. Okay, we are gonna mitigate his turns by turning him into a frog. We are going to summon another fire slug. And can we turn anybody into an elementalist? No, we cannot. Okay, so next course of action is to summon or use fire. There we go, fire totem will go. Oop. 
there we go. Cool. <laughs> it is just a matter of just dealing as much damage as we can to this guy and hoping it works. We'll see how things play out. At the very least, he's not going to have a fun time. Okay, we are going to summon... I think the Bone Spider is honestly the best bet here. Yeah, let's summon a Bone Spider, why not? It's going to deal physical damage anyway, so... There we go. Seriously? I summoned you here. There we go, finally. Alright, we are going to throw down a mute here. This will prevent him from casting anything. Here we go. And... I guess I'll end... Oh, I don't... I've got silence now. I'll end my turn then. Oh, he's reflecting it. He's reflecting the abilities against me. I see. Interesting way of going about things. Okay, okay. Oh, he's attacking the Bone Spider. Respectable. Okay. Bone Spider, please. <laughs> Okay, he's marching away. I mean, I can't really do much about it. Uh, let's move one AP over, I guess. It's not like I can really do much beyond this, so... Uh, let's move one AP more here. Okay, quick strike. And eh, no, we're fine. We'll just go for normal damage. He is now sleeping. He is now failed sleeping. Really should have just left it as sleeping. <laughs> ah well. It's fine. Dodge. Alright, this has taken some damage. Oh. <laughs> the bone spider has decided to grab some dwarf's food. Lovely. Oh, even more. Lovely. And now he's going back. Okay. <laughs> Just had to consume com corpses, I guess. Alright. Uh, target is out of sight. Ow. How is he out of sight? Alright, I'll move one AP closer. Sleeping failed. Sleeping. Alright, let's end our turn then. Get some extra energy for next turn. Alright. Mortis is getting uh, some... He's getting a lot of defense back now. Okay, let's see if I can put him to sleep again. Sleeping failed. There we go, now he's sleeping. <laughs> well, this is a way to go about it, I suppose. Alright, let's summon a... Let's summon another assassin, I suppose. There we go. Alright, end our turn there. You can't do anything, apparently. He's now awake. Still can't do much, but whatever. <laughs> We'll probably summon, like, the slug over here, maybe, when we get the chance. But, Mortis has taken some serious damage now. Okay, we are going to put you to sleep again. Okay, no. Okay, you're shocked, though. Come on. Okay, no sleep. Well, worst case, I do have other abilities. For now, though, I'm gonna activate Chameleon Cloak so I'm not targeted. Whoosh. That leaves only two targets. 
you're forced to target either the skeleton or spider. Seems like the, or the assassin is the focus for you. Not sure why you turned your back against an assassin, but okay. Okay, we are going to use Witch's Brew. That is a guaranteed way to kill or knock you into a position of weakness. We are then going to conjure a Fire Slug. And let's throw in an Elemental Totem, so that way you're going to get lead rocks. Oh, that's a miss. That's still burning. Push. Okay, you're running over to there. Interesting choice. I can still see you, though, I think. Alright, we are going to summon a undead warrior to be a good distraction. Alright, now we're going to deal high octane damage with infects. Boom. And he's probably in the throes of the feet at this point, probably. At least I'm expecting he is. Alright, a ton of burning. Bleed. Yeah, he, he's really hurting now. <laughs> uh, the assassin has failed to realize that he is not going to be able to get there at this rate. Okay, we're gonna throw down a proper volley. There we go. We will do an arcane volley next. There we go. And we will go with shackles just to make sure we're gonna be living here. Or using this ability, anyways. Okay. 760, 682. He's getting really close to getting down. Oh, he's knocked prone. Perfect. He even gets some poison here. Alright, it's our turn. We'll turn him into a frog. There we go. And you know what? Let's just go for the infect here. Deal some serious damage. We'll also throw down this. Deal some extra damage. Gets into a fog zone. Fire. Brimstone. That sort of thing. And this should be the finishing strike. Boom. No. Mercy. Mercy. The Master Sorcerer throws up his hot, cracked arms to defend himself as you step forward. Hmm. I need to decide what I'm going to do with Mortis. Hmm. One second, let me check what Mortis actually does. What Mortis... So, yeah, give me a second. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Turnably, you can tell if we're gonna... Hmm. Okay. Now, there is Mer- Well, I guess I can- I guess I could rely on him, Mortis. The thing is, with his dialogue... Well, I'll let- I'll let him explain. I'll consider Mercy, but there's something I need from you first. The undead dwarf looks quickly over its shoulder, his gaze darting from shadow to shadow. Of course! 
Of course, anything. Just name it. I need to learn how to channel more source. If you help, you might walk out of this cave. Well. What? Source? I... The skeleton slowly lowers his arms, staring at you in disbelief. Of course. You're Godwoken. You seek power. Ultimate power. <laughs> and I worried we could not find common ground. Yes, Godwoken, I can teach you. If you swear, you won't banish me to the afterlife. Not sure. It looks like someone's beaten me to it. The death of the flesh is one of the smallest deaths. I have not passed on to the Hall of Echoes, nor do I ever intend to. Please, Godwoken, let me walk away, and I swear I will show you all I know. If you keep your word, I'll keep mine. Please be. Very well, Godwoken. Listen carefully. Source and void, day and night, love and hate. One is meaningless without the other. To grow your source, to achieve your potential, you must embrace the void. The grinning skeleton reaches into the folds of his robes and pulls out a small black mass. It's covered in veins and oozing pus. Here, Godwoken. Take a bite. What is that? The finest meal you'll find in this cave. The heart of a void woken. Your god stirs, pushing you to eat it. Do not fear, a voice whispers. Do what must be done. Perhaps not the most appetizing thing around, but if you truly want to channel more source... The skeleton extends his arm, jiggling the heart towards you. A glob of dark yellow pus oozes through the bones of his palm and drips to the ground. I'm not eating anything's hearts. There must be another way. You can demand until we're both dust. That's the only answer I have to give. If you don't like it, you can wait until they arrive to take a bite out of you. The decision is yours, Godwoken. I'll not wait here for you to make it. So yeah, either you choose to eat the black hearts, or you don't. Yeah, no. I still have some questions. Mortis looks at you in alarm. God's graves, please be quick. Why did you possess the dwarves? I, uh, I had no choice. They wanted to destroy the Death Fog. They haul barrels of the greatest weapons in the world off a ship and then decide to throw them in the ocean. We couldn't let it happen. We needed it. So I... I took control. How did you control the dwarves? The power gifted to me. The power of Morda Cain. The power to bend the feeble-minded to my will. And so much more. It was a gift from... It was a gift. Well, how's you so spooked? I... I can't! You're here! You know, you'll find me. You'll come. I'm already here. You need to tell me. If I tell you, I die. Or, or worse. Mordus takes a step back, looking about in half-crazed panic. I can't. I, I can't. Not now. It's too late. It's all too late. Alright, I don't have time for this. Well, I want what you know. The dwarf sets his jaw and firmly refuses to speak until you ask him something else. I don't have time for this. If you tell you 
If you won't tell me, what? I'll force it. No, I can't. You grab the dwarf's old brittle arm and follow through with your knee. There's a dry snapping sound as the crumbling bone cracks and gives way. Ah, no, stop, stop, I beg you, I'll tell you. You relent, and the dwarf stumbles back, cradling his fractured arm and whimpering. It's, it's him. The one the seven rejected. The god. The dwarf is interrupted by another crack. You see his femur has developed a break. The fracture spreads, shearing the bone in two. Morda stumbles to the ground, oddly silent. He looks up, and you see that his jaw is cracked, broken, and falling to pieces. Fishes are starting to run across his skull, and his ribs start to snap and fall one by one. What were you going to say? Mordus tries to raise his remaining arm to his head, splaying his fingers wide, but the digits are viciously snapped off by some unseen force. You hear the tiniest whimper from the skeleton before his face caves in, as if smashed with an invisible mace, and the body lies still and silent. You stare down at the pile of cracked and broken bones, so much for having him teach you to channel more source. Yeah. But at least we got some valuable information as part of this. So apparently, if you want to get, you know, source from training from him, you need to, you need to avoid Woken Heart. I'm not going to do that, personally, because I think using such a method is... Ugh. It's it's just a personal preference of mine. You, you can choose to go this route. I just personally think it's... It's a bit if iffy. You don't really want to be using the very thing you're fighting against. Against. Well, I guess you could. In a way, you could say that you could use the void against them. I still just don't see it as a good idea, personally. Regardless, that is an option you have. Alright, I'll take that. It seems like something's there that we learned. But yeah, we're learning a lot now. There is a cursed oil barrel up here, apparently, so that's cool. Got a few barrels here, and we'll check Mortis's corpse in a moment. Seems there was also a few other corpses uh, dotted around, but we'll worry about that in bits. For now, let's check Mortis's corpse. We are given a key. Mortis's amulet, which gives us endurance and necromancer, which is lovely. And we get another unidentified amulet. We do lose out on the option to... Well, we, we lose out on the option to actually learn source from him as a result of this, but it's fine. I was expecting to come in here without learning anything, so... Yeah. Uh, let's see... I believe there was a... Yeah, it was a shoddy knife. Ditch that. Don't need those forks, mugs of beer or anything. I'll take the place. I'll a body pile here. Might have something. Grab the eye. Uh, grab the gold, but not the mug. A few dead dwarves over here. Seems like the dwarves were trying to drop them into the ocean, though. Going by what they've said. So that is interesting to hear. Bottle of beer, bottle of wine, empty bottles, always nice. I guess we go into the camp here, see what's going on. Now, do I want Mortis' amulet? Because that's actually a pretty good item, I think. Let's see. Two endurance, it gives us more earth resistance, it gives us slight poison resistance, even though we don't benefit from it. So it's two endurance, two necromancer, and 20 earth resistance, and a 10% melee damp or reflection of uh, damage by 10%. 
I am going to wear it because it increases Necromancer, obviously. But it also increases Endurance, which increases overall stats by 20%. So it's basically a 20% boost to Vitality and Armor, I believe. Or Armor Values, I should say. So, yeah, Physical Armor is 708, 938 Magic Armor, pretty good. Our Necromancer is now at 12, so we heal for 120% damage. And we have a... 36% chance that a minion is summoned from corpses. So that's nice. And interesting, to say the least. Okay. Alright. Seems we're learning a lot. Uh, that our Dwarven Queen. Loha. Isabel's in agents inform her that the Death Bob is in your possession. It must be delivered to Arx with all possible speed. I don't know what is causing this delay, but I do know that you will rectify this unfortunate error. I'm sure you know the penalty for disobedience. Do not disappoint me, your queen. Interesting. A lot of things around here, to say the least. Alright, a cupboard. Some various other things. We'll take the painting of the night. Another row of books. A glass of wine. Ink pot and quill is always nice. An unsent letter. Take that. Got a nice chest. A desk here with a worn teddy bear. We don't need that. Okay, more stuff around. Oh, obviously there's corpses, so we have to check those in, in due time. Okay, we got barrels. And we got a hatch here. Now, don't worry if you don't get too much out of this. Well, regardless, uh, don't worry too much if you're going to lose out if you do not go with the source choice. Because there is other options that you get from completing these challenges. Or these uh, objectives, I should say. Alright, we're gonna open this. Nothing in there. We got Bone Bowl. Nothing too crazy here. Okay, the only thing is the crate and barrel here, and then we've got this area here. The hatch. So, if you choose to kill your query here, we'll save here specifically, you can it's unlock this. Away. Mortis turned the key into an amulet. Aww. Aww. So yeah, no, you uh, get to keep Mortis' amulet, and uh, you get a nice little, uh, it's basically a key for you. You also get the a benefit of Devour Corpse. It blows up your target, but you restore some vitality, which is nice. In turn for doing so, we get to this area here, which is interesting, to say the least. Okay. I thought this cave couldn't get any more grim and threatening. Yeah, but you basically get to a uh, area here, and you can explore around. We're gonna save here before we go any more further, because I'm not sure what we're gonna run into, but... I'll take this chance to look around. A ring, boots, gold. Nice. Got some penny bun mushrooms for our troubles. And if we look around, we should be able to find some things. Okay, skeleton... That has some um, robes. More penny bun mushrooms for healing. Really need to come across some more potions. So that way I can benefit as much as I can. Look out! I see a trap oh. nearby. Oh dear. That's not good. That's probably a load. 
Yeah, let's load just in case, because I don't want to blow this entire place up. That'd be horrible. <laughs> Good thing I saved. Alright, let's see. Give me a second, I'm gonna pop a Coke. There we go. Alright, let's pop this open. Alright. Now let's be careful this time. Uh, I'm gonna take off the outfit for a sec. Just so I can re-equip it. There we go. Careful now. That's oh. a trap. That is really. You have to be really close here, huh? Thankfully, Sir Laura didn't trigger the trap. Would have been really pissed if that were the case. Hello. Okay, some bones, like your mushrooms. Even more delvet. Oh. Let's open that. Rat tail, gold, wooden targe, a glowing eye. Alright, a bone of three here. Man, whoever this was, they certainly got the short end of the stick, that's for sure. Okay, apparently I can go over here, so that's fun. Let's move some things real quick. Move these tear grenades. There we go. Activate that. I'll hop over to here. And then I will hop over to here. Boing. Check the skeleton. Yoink. Penny bun mushrooms. Galore. Okay. Oh boy. It's a good thing I didn't press that again. I guess we're going. You know what? No. We're not sticking around any longer. Let's go before we start causing too much trouble. And destroy literally everything here. Alright, off we go. We're done there. Okay. And with that, I guess I'll quickly get a snooze here. Get full HP. I think. Nope, that isn't going to help. Although I can use a bedroll here. There we go. Uh, that didn't e actually heal me, but it does boost magic, might, and speed by a little bit, so that's nice. Alright, but yeah, that is the benefit of just going that route. You get some uh, stuff there, and we are now outside. And over to the area that you would least expect. We are brought over to here. Hello. The angelic figure stands upon a mosaic that depicts a dragon or a leviathan. You're lost in reverie and see what she sees, an idyll. This corner of land as it was hundreds of years ago when only seagulls dwelt upon these cliffs. Warm breezes carry petals and pollen to destinations unknown. And there we go. We've got the Wrecker's Cave, Reaper's Coast. Uh, teleportation. Which is a nice addition, and it is our way past Grog the Troll. So that's another boon that we're getting from this. But before we do go, there is more merit to be here than meets the eye. Namely, it starts with going over to this hatch here. In order for us to get there, the easiest way is to use wings. And we're going to use this chance to go over to here and slip on through. Uh, in doing so, we are met with a various few things. We are going to save here, just in case, but honestly, we should be fine. It's Sir Laura that I'm worried about, this more than anything. This the wreck of the Peacemaker. 
Some of her cargo may remain. Yeah. So before we go any further, we are actually going to use a teleport item. Or let's use our gloves of teleportation here. We're going to teleport the Captain Compass here. Okay, let us equip our actual gloves. Which are where? Here they are. Equip. Yuck. Alright, a Magister Priestess here. Grab that. Alright, the crates are going to have some gold in them, I think. There we go. Nothing too crazy. On source orbs, I guess we'll grab that. Metal crate. There is an ornate chest here. Okay, we got another crate here. Yeah, I can't go any further, but yeah, there's that. I think that is all of the uh, area. Most of it appears to be Death Thog, though, so we want to avoid that as much as we can. This amulet, though, let's see. 20 water resistance, 2 leadership. Going by leadership, uh, you get... Dodging movement and resistance bonuses to all allies in a 5 meter radius. Um, ally, yeah. So leadership grants dodging movement and resistance bonus to all allies in a 5 meter radius. Allied statuses applied to a leader have a 7% chance to be shared with nearby allies and vice versa. So, should I buff myself with leadership, it would pass on, potentially, to other allies, if I were to increase it. I don't plan on focusing on leadership. I usually just buff stuff on other people. And anytime I need to, I will buff on myself, but I don't need to focus into it, basically. Or at least that is the intent, anyways. Now, I have decided on who I'm going to be, you know, pursuing for source power and all that jazz. So, do not be too... Su oh, wait. I can't actually go up here, huh? Well, that's a rip. Oh, well. Okay, I can't climb, then. Hmm. Okay, so what's the way across then? Hmm. Can I not use my wings to flap up? Hold on. Let me see if I can't. Parkour. Let's see, I could, uh... Okay, uh, let's start by using spread my wings here. Maybe I can just... Maybe, maybe I just need to fly. Yeah, that'd be a really good luxury if I could. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to fly it. Oh well. That's no big deal. I kind of half expected that, but whatever. The point is, is that we won't be able to go anywhere closer to Cloisterwood, but we can teleport to Driftwood Square here. And I guess, yeah, we can use Mortis's amulet to prove that he's dead. All right, uh, decide what to do with Justinia's letter. Okay, a letter from Queen Justinia proves the conspiracy against the Magisters. This information is potentially explosive. Hmm. How do I do it? I can either give it to the Magister and they'll surely pay for it, or I can return it to the Dwarves because... Either way, it really is biting into two small halves. Uh, I can also find a socket for the... 
Alright, let's see. White Magister Raymond asked us to find proof of a dwarven conspiracy. The dwarves salvaged death fog from a magister ship. We can get the bomb this. Magister Julian asked us to investigate Wilhar's doing, Driftwood, and his connections to the Dwarf Queen. We found letters in the Wrecker's Cave, but they don't incriminate Lohar. Alright. A letter from Queen Justinia approves the conspiracy against the Magisters. Uh, let me read this. Hold on. Let's see. Yes, yes, of course. Okay, not that. It is... Isabel's agents inform her that the Death Fog is in your possession. It must be delivered to Ars with all possible speed. I do not know what is causing this delay, but I do know... Okay, hmm. I don't know. It, there's one of two options. You can give it to the Magisters or the Dwarves. I'm gonna see if I can't find the better option. I think... Passing it off to the Magisters is the better option. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. All right, hmm. Okay, now is there any benefit to actually eating his head? I don't know. I don't think there is. Hmm. Apologies if I'm taking long. I'm just trying to figure out the pros and cons of this. Let's see. Hmm. Mentioning a death fall, okay. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Okay, there's also one more path that we can go to. Okay, okay. But the problem is I need to unlock it, is the problem.
Okay, is there a way to unlock it, though? One second. Hmm. Okay, but how do I handle this, then? Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's an interesting way of going about things. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Um... So, out of all the choices, I think the best course of action out of everything, I personally think, is dealing with the uh, problematic dwarves, because I do believe at the end of the day, they are in the wrong. Yes, it is bad for the Magisters to be taking the Death Fog, but it's no excuse for the dwarves to also be using it. It's just an overall bad thing to be using, so getting rid of it in droves is just the best option overall. I think that's just, honestly, the better option out of everything. We'll go to Driftwood Square, and then we'll swip in. And we're gonna go into the Under Tavern here. And... I guess we'll start off by dealing with the Arena, because that is experience that we need to do. So I'm gonna overwrite this. And I will go in blindfolded. Figure it's time to prove yourself. Let's get it. Is that so? Yep. Well, alright. In any case, you're in for a treat, laddie. Nobody will aid me as I begin the... F well, I'll begin the fight once my turn happens. And I need to get as much defense distance as possible, so... This is gonna get interesting. Okay. From here, I'm going to conjure a fire slug. Here we go. I will then summon an Elementalist. There we go. And then I'll move out of the way so I can actually defend myself somewhat. There we go. Let them have their uh, time in the uh, sunshine, as it were. And when I get the chance, I can go up here and then get ready for that. Hey, tons of fire. Okay, the Veiled One is going to summon a Void Woken. That's an interesting choice. Okay. <laughs> I will not be able to charm anybody, though. That is going to be a problem. Well, I won't be able to charm anyone with my gear that I've got currently on. But I probably can swap at this point to something better in due time. I just need to migrate to something better. That's all it comes down to. Alright, poor Fire Slug has taken some serious damage, but that's fine. That's why the summons are here. To accommodate for my uh, lack of abilities in some areas. But, whatever. We'll manage. Just gotta give it some time. Ow! Okay, let's move one AP over. We are going to charm the bomb to avoidling. We are then going to... Clamber up here. And I will summon a cat to give ourselves even more fodder to work with. That should help. Cat's gonna go nuts. <laughs> Be a good distraction, to say the least. 
while the fire slug does recover at the very least. And then we'll go from there. Okay, yeah, no, they're wailing on the uh, poor, poor cat. But well, that's fine. Fire slug will go nuts now. Deal a ton of damage. Voidling is gonna go and attack their allies, which is exactly what I prefer. Okay, that dude's taking some damage. Cat's gonna have some uh, rough times ahead of himself. <laughs> Alright, cat gets teleported. That's fine. Ow. I'll be fine, though. The damage isn't that bad. Well, ish. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too badly outdone, but we'll see. I'm probably gonna have to run over to this guy and deal with him, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. For this, I'm going to summon a totem right here. There we go. I'm gonna have to move two AP over to here, so that way I can focus on a mirror here. Let's see. Um, I can probably get away with this if I try hard enough. If I move over here, maybe. This will get... Well, if I do it right, I can get all three, I think. There we go. Now, let's see. With this, I can get all three, I think. Cool. There we go. Everybody's frogs. <laughs> so that will immobilize them to a degree. Fire across the board. Nice. That's certainly to immobilize them. Ow. Cold damage. But could be worse, I suppose. Okay, you're gonna walk over there. Respectable, respectable. There goes the totem. Okay. <laughs> okay, the mindful one's gonna march over. Gonna get over to there. He is making a point to attack Steve. Well, that's fine. I could I could make this work. Alright. Frogs bouncing around. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Let's see. Target's too far. I can target the vault of Voidling. But I really should be dealing with as much as I can, so I'm going to start by... Let's summon a water totem here. Let's charm the Voidling. There we go, get another casting of it. We are going to summon a corpse in preparation for the future. There we go. And there we go, we'll just wait for everything to go. Okay, poor Totem's taking some damage. <laughs> Caster's gonna go nuts. Nice, nice. Probably have another body ready by the time everybody's done. Okay, a Dazing Bolt, interesting. You get rid of the Totem. Alright, you're damaging me now. <laughs> Cat's going nuts. Really should have used Charm on Jade of the Rash one, but whatever. The Voidling is uh, perfectly fine as a choice. I could also target the Veiled one, but eh, whatever. We've got more summons ahead of ourselves, so no worries. 
Alright. New slug just dropped. There we go. Uh, let's see. Can't really target anybody else here. Uh, in fact, isn't really the way to go. Mute might be. Mute would deal more damage here. You know what? Let's go with mute so that way we don't have to suffer some damage. Alright, we are going to use... Yeah, we're going to use Shackles of Pain on the Volt to Voidling here. Give ourselves some defense. Okay, and then we are going to use Chameleon Cloak here, just to give ourselves less of a focus. Oh, well, never mind. I guess the slug just didn't want us to be invisible. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, they're targeting the slug. Cool. Caster's gonna be next. Doing what they can. Oh, there we go. That's some serious damage. Nice. Oh, they've caught on fire. My poor fire slug. <laughs> oh well. And off they go to the next area. Still targeting fodder, that sort of thing. Could be worse. My poor caster. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Well, I did have a corpse here, but I guess it's gone now. Oh well. Alright, electrified water. Uh, what can we do here? We are going to... Let's activate Heart of Steel. Here we go. Let's see, if I go up here, I'm probably going to provoke, obviously. Yeah, no, I'm going to provoke from two people if I go there. Well, an Arcane Volley would deal a significant sum of damage. Yeah, let's go with that. There we go. Nice. Alright, there goes my summon. Okay, all in on the totem. There goes that. Fire Slug is probably going to get harassed now. Okay, yeah, nope, the Fire Slug is uh, using this chance, or rather, he's using his chance to attack the Fire Slug. Okay, that's Fell Fire. Interesting. Okay, more fire. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, they're getting really aggressive with me. <laughs> well, hopefully we can prove ourselves here. It's experience, after all. Every little bit. Probably gonna get also a lot of clout here for doing it blindfolded to boot, so that's fine. Okay. I wish I could charm, but I don't think I get that luxury. Alright, let's throw down a summon here. We are going to summon a... You know what? Summon a Bone Widow. Bone Widow is a good tanky uh, support. Or a tank, rather. Okay, we are going to use this chance to... Hmm. 
I guess the best thing I can do is shields up here. Increase my defenses. And then move into the... We'll move here, basically. There we go. That'll have to do. The spider will have to protect me from uh, any fodder that we have to deal with. And hey, the fire slug's there, so that's nice. Finders Keepers, what? The heck was that? Okay. Okay, where are you going? You're going to cause a lot of fire damage across the board, nice. <laughs> fire Slug has been carrying, I must admit. Then again, it is comprised of swords, so there you go. Yeah, that ring is going to be a keeper for a while, I must admit. Going to be a keeper for a long while. Okay, they're going to throw down more damage against the Slug. Respectable. Rip Slug. <laughs> Hopefully we get more corpses to deal with, but who knows, right? Well, at the very least, the fire damage is doing a lot, so there is merit to this madness. Okay. Well, I will... Proceed to Progify. From there, I will summon a another slug. And then I will summon a cat. There we go. More distractions. <laughs> Cat's gonna go. Alright, slug's gonna do its madness. Fire damage across the board. Scorch 4, nice. Okay, the persistent one's rushing through the fire in hopes to deal damage. Ow! That's a lot of damage across to every ally and enemy. <laughs> Probably gonna need a charm here, I think. At least somebody, rather. Okay, they're really focusing on me. Apparently. I am obviously an ample target. <laughs> to them, anyways. Okay. Who to target here? Who to target? Okay, cat's getting demolished. The rash one here is nearly dead. Okay, who can I charm? I guess I can charm either the rash or the persistent. I'm gonna go... Let's see if I can charm the rash. Alright, the rash is now under my control. Alright, I'm going to go for... Persistent, I guess? Yeah, no, if I go 1 AP forward here, and I use Witch's Brew, and I target both of these guys, that should... Yep, they're both now frogs. Forced to suffer. Alright, fire damage across from there. Nice. Bone Widow's still in a bit of a kerfuffle, but yeah, it could be worse. to chain the wily one here. The rash is going to use adrenaline to start harassing the 
<laughs> the Wily. Oh no, he's going over to deal with Kenna. Oof. Not so good of a situation. Hold on. If I were to use Shallow Grave here... Yeah, let's use Shallow Grave. And I were able to... Okay, I can get one AP over here. And I won't be able to get... Well, maybe. Hold on. Can I use Arcane Volley here? Maybe. Hold on. Uh, I can. And that's going to deal a lot of damage, I think. There we go. That gets the kill and reanimates one of the corpses of the zombie. There we go. More allies to add to the mix. <laughs> Nice. Reanimator is probably going to go and deal with uh, Shade of the Rash as well. So that's even more damage added to the list, probably. Okay. Oh, wait, I've also got to deal with uh, him, don't I? Amir, the Veiled One. I might be able to get the kill on him if I'm lucky, but we'll see. He really likes focusing on me, the archers. He just really wants to get me stunned, I bet. And just stunlock me. Okay. You're going absolutely bonkers. <laughs> okay, Spooder's going nuts. Okay, they're going after the cat, poor cat, and then poor me. <laughs> okay, the rash is delaying. Respectable, respectable. Now, how do I want to do this? I could focus on the ooze barrel here. Yeah, if I throw it on... Uh, if I throw it there, that should be good. Yeet. Aha! Okay, we're gonna use Heart of Steel here. There we go. And then we are going to use this chance to anchor with the ball to Voidling. It is very dark here, so I'm gonna move out of the way here a little bit. God, that's so... Right. <laughs> Apologies for those who uh, are sensitive to bright lights. Like, this is a mess. Oof. It's even hurt my eyes at this point, which is. Ugh, God. Ow. I'm starting to hate this marksman. I really am. I'm gonna move out of the way at the next earliest convenience. <laughs> That way it can't really just target me like that. Okay, Almighty Cleave. He is now dead. There we go. Okay, um... I think I'm gonna use this chance to climb up here because it is a heat stroke down there. Okay, it's now just us here. We are going to summon... Well, we're going to summon a body here. We're going to charm Jada the Rash. There we go. Another unit to add to the list. Layla, or Layli, is going to be there. Fire Slug's going to go nuts. A. Jeron the Mindful. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna they're gonna have a kerfuffle of a fight there. Hi. <laughs> Dude's getting angry, so he's just decided to get cl up close and personal. 
We are going to raise an un-elementalist directly here. We are then going to... Frogify quite liber literally here. Two frogs, nice. And then... Frog damage with magic, there we go. And because the caster's here... Boom. Push. There's only one target left. Jada. Now, I don't think there's any merit to looting these guys. I don't think. I'll still check their bodies just to be safe. But it's pretty self-explanatory what's about to happen. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have bodies to loot, so... No point in, uh, looting them, really. And I don't see any loot in this arena, so no point in doing so, anyways. Alright. Jada's about to have a rough time of it. And... Boom. Done. We did it. Blindfolded. Oh. Um... Um... <laughs> so, uh... Okay, we're going to... Okay, so apparently my charismatic gear has been removed. I'm gonna chameleon cloak here. And I'm just gonna... March away. See ya. Just gonna casually sneak off. There we go. Do 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 do. There we go. Alright, I think I'm good. But let me just check to be sure. So, uh, hey. Nice show out there. You're smoldering, you are. Yeah, I wish to fight the current arena champion. That's Marcus call. I abide by her yeas and nays. Okay. We are going to save then. And I guess we'll see. I mean, we beat uh, most of their uh, problems, so there you go. Hello. She lifts your blindfold and nudges your nose with her own, laughing. Nice to see the cub has some claws. You drew blood. Enough to know you're alive. And you proved yourself against my little challenge. So now we will fight, you and I. Come on, show me I'm alive. Talk to the raucous one when you're ready to fight. She winks over her shoulder at you and then disappears. That murder's crowed up. Okay then, interesting. Hey, Rakos. Alright, let's save. Because this could go from bad to worse, who knows. But we'll see. Oh, this'll be a scotcher. Who are you taking along? You only get this one chance, so keep your wits about you. Nobody will aid me. Once again, I wish to fight alone. With my summons. As I do. 
Okay, Murga's gonna go nuts and start attacking me, as expected. Looking like we got a rogue here, so that's gonna be lovely. But I guess we'll see how things play out. And my goodness, are is she violent? And oh, it appears that I've got a bit of a uh, problem on my hands. Lovely. Murga blanches, jaw hardening as she steps backwards. It could be just a trick of the light, but it certainly looks like she's trembling with fear. This is bad news, Cupcake. Well, I'm ready to kill this thing. That's the spirit. You go ahead and soften him up for me. Hop two, and don't even think this championship is over yet. Flickering and glimmering in and out of sight in the gloom, Murga winks at you and then disappears. <laughs> Just like last time, she runs to her little ickle fading shadows. Won't save you. Can't save you. Well, I hadn't planned on backing out. Let's begin this, Captain. Void Woken, Creature. Okay, it seems like you're going Shackles of Pain route on my butt. Okay, respectable, respectable. Let's start with a Shields up here. Let's summon a Fire Slug in the distance between us. And I'm gonna back off. Immediately. Get some distance. Ow. Oh, hey. That's a lot of damage. Jeez. <laughs> okay, Murga. Just completely demolished the Deep Dweller. Okay, hold on. Because of those chains, she actually one-shot me. Okay, so that's... Hmm. Interesting. 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 So I'm starting to learn a few things about this fight, huh? <laughs> she is going to demolish you if she gets the chance to... Well, if the chance applies to... Whatever. The point is, is that it's going to be hard to deal with. Nice show out there. Oh, this will be a okay, here we go. Yeah, she's going to go ham. Bloody hell. That's a lot, jeez. Okay. I'll just close that. I don't need that open. Thankfully, I do have physical armor now, so... This is bad news, Cupcake. That's the flickering. <laughs> All right. Okay. You're going to be aiming for my physical armor, is what you're trying to do here. So that way you can chain on me. But I'm not going to let that happen. Seems like we got a unique item. That's good. Okay. Hmm. How am I going to do this? First, I'm going to use... Well, I'm not... F I'm fine right now, but... They're really going to go ham on me. Okay. We'll use that. We will unearth a corpse to throw down a elementalist and then I'm going to go invisible so that way he can't target me with the ability and hopefully he doesn't use an AoE to ruin my day but we'll see we'll see
Okay, do you do the ray. Do the ray. Perfect. That's what we want. There we go. Oh, lovely. You decide to target my... Decide to target my slug. Lovely. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so basically she's going... Being a cheeky sausage. Alright, well there goes my summon. Grace. Okay, um... How do we do this then? Preferably, I want to charm the captive deep dwell dweller. So, how do we do that? We can charm him from this distance, so we have that going for us. So, we just need to deal enough magic damage to bring him within range. Which is easier said than done. Hmm. Let's use... Hmm. How are we going to do this, huh? We don't have any corpses available to us, so the best I can probably do is cause a distraction here with the cat. But even then, that's not going to be enough. Hmm. Well, worst case, I could just turn him into a frog, right? Yeah, let's... Okay, so we're not getting as much damage because of this. The high advantage. We are going to use Witch's Brew here, I guess. There we go. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna have a fun time no matter what I do, huh? The best I can do is uh, back away as far as I can here. All right. Well, at least he's within range. Oh God, he's charmed. Okay, lovely. That's fine, though. I can work with that. Oh, God. I'm probably gonna have to use a armor potion here. If I want to survive. Pain. Pain. Lovely. Okay, let's down a giant physical armor potion. Okay, we need to summon a cat to distract you. We will summon an elemental totem to follow up. Oh no. I just need to back up as much as I can here. I think the best course of action, actually, is to use Spread My Wings here. There we go. There we go. Get as much distance as possible here. There we go. And we'll back up all the way over to here. There we go. That'll make it really hard for the cat to do anything. Or rather, Murga to do anything. She'll be distracted by the cats, at least for a little bit. Oh, no, wait, she's going for me. Okay. Really? Really? Just really want to deal with me, huh? Lovely. Not sure if I should feel flattered or not, given she's focusing on me. <laughs> Okay, um... Alright, well, I'll throw that down. 
I will throw down a Fire Slug in turn. And I can summon an Undead. Uh, let's go with an Elementalist again. There we go. Okay, now she has to focus on me. Which is gonna be easier said than done. The Captive Deep Dweller is in my in my distance, or in my range now for focus. Okay, that's fire across the board, nice. What are you gonna do now? You're going to focus on peace of mind here. And you're gonna attack me like crazy. Okay, I'm not having fun here. She is really wailing into me. <laughs> okay, Void Shard. Interesting choice. Okay. Alright, let's... Use Arcane Volley here. There we go. If we use Witch's Brew, we have a chance at getting this. I think I'm gonna start with Mute, though. That will force her into silence. And then we can do Witch's Brew, and then she's forced into Frog War. There we go. Now she can't really do much against us. She is gonna wander as a, a frog, though. That's good for me, though. I've got enough time to focus. Ah! Shackles of Pain. Lovely. So now you have the chance to do that, but I'm not gonna let you. So how do we do with Murga here? Hmm. I think I have ways of knocking her astray here. Ah, uh, where is it? Hmm. How do I handle this? I do believe I need to charm her here. That is the only way... Well, no, if I charm her, then she's going to focus on this guy, then. Bugger. I think I've been put in checkmate, huh? Sets chilled. I think I need to knock her down. Do I have a knockdown grenade? I don't. A frost grenade would do. Hmm. I'm wondering, how do I handle this? wondering how do I handle this because this is a this is one heck of a mess I mean the only way I can see myself coming out of this alive is if I armor up like there is only one way out of this and this is the armor route so I need to use heart of steel here I need to armor the ever-living hell out of myself I will use a Medium physical armor. That'll give myself 600 armor. Okay. I suppose I can fly up to get some height here. And I will equip a scroll. I guess we will go with the haste scroll here. There we go. Give myself some haste. This will give myself a boost in AP recovery, movement, and start AP. 
We'll do even more fire damage there. Nice. Okay, you are going absolute bonkers. Okay, dominate mind. Interesting choice. I can probably teleport you away, if given the chance. So that way you can't actually benefit from it. Ow. Ow. Oh, okay. Just casually get charmed. And I'm low on health now. Lovely. Um... This is a mess. This is a right mess. Let's go with a tear grenade here. Force her into fear. Okay, that didn't work. Lovely. Um... I guess let's cause some bleed so we can get some health back. And I can reduce her damage by, or try to, by infect. I don't think that's going to help much. Okay, that's even more damage. Murga's probably going to go for the kill, though. Yeah. Oh, but I do get the charm off, so I guess it doesn't... Hmm. Okay, this is an interesting interaction that's going on here. Uh, for now, let's just down some health. There we go. Well, I can either deal magic damage or physical damage. Either way, it's fine. I think I'm going to summon a corpse up here. Here we go. And I will make it a assassin here. There we go. And then I'm going to use Spread My Wings here. Give myself a benefit there. The Assassin's going to go nuts on these guys. I guess we'll see how things play out. Definitely going to got a charm one of the two here. I think that's my only saving grace. Okay. Alright, I'm going to charm Murga here. And she's going to go after the Deep Dweller here. Yeah, the Deep Dweller is basically on her turn. Okay. Oh wait, if we can deal enough physical damage here, then... We can actually use his defenses against us, er, him. Let's see. Oh, no, wait, but if we do that, then he's probably gonna get. Yeah, she. Murga's probably gonna use that as an excuse to target me. God, this is such a complex fight. God, this is such a mess. I think first, securing my safety is more important here. So let's focus on that. We're gonna jump a distance here. And we're gonna focus on Murga. Actually, no, let's focus... Yeah, no, let's focus on Murga, because she's the one that's dealing the most damage, among other things. There we go. Murga can't do anything. Uh, apparently he's targeting the skeleton. There goes the skeleton. Lovely. Okay, we are going to summon that thing here. 
Uh, why did it... Okay, that's something. Okay, we are going to... Mute against the cave dweller here. That way you can't do anything against us. Although that means I'm muted again. Oh, lovely. I'll move down so I'm not targeted. Oh, boy. This is one hell of a mess. But hopefully, the slug will do something. Okay. Let's use... Okay, we can't use the haste scroll. Uh, do we have any armor scrolls? Not really. But I guess I could use a stone skin potion. I will lose movement, but it's better than nothing. Alright, let's end our turn here. That'll have to be it. There we go. Okay, they're forced to move immensely fast now. Oh, they're getting hostile with one another. <laughs> A, pretty good. Ah, yes. Good. Let's, um, wait. Okay, what are you going to do? You're going to haste. Okay. Going to warp over to deal the fire slug. Interesting choice. Okay. There goes my fire slug. Now we wait for you. Okay, you're using Oath of Desecration. All right. Let's move over... Well, we're going to summon a creature over here. Elementalist. There we go. Alright. Throw in a fire slug as far as we can here. Throw in yet another corpse. And we are going to throw in... An assassin. There we go. Three summons on the board. Done. We got room for more, if need be. Let's begin. Alright, Murga. Go nuts. Let's see how long you survive with this. Hopefully, not long. There we go. Damage, damage, damage. Not having a good time, that's for sure. A hey, Nimble Bolt. Oh, you killed my Fire Slug. Lovely. At least, it should be enough of a distraction for the assassin to go ham. Or hopefully. <laughs> 158. Well, it's a good thing I can summon the fire slug yet again. So we'll summon that. And we will turn you into a frog. Make you weak. And then... Boom. Done. She's now perished. Undead, strike it down. And yeah, no, every time you do a battle here... Yeah, every time you do a battle here, you lose your some of your gear, apparently. I'm not sure why. It's just a thing they do. Yeah, it's not fun. But hey, that's why invisibility exists. We're going to activate invisibility here. And we're just going to swiftly move in this direction here. Off we go. They can't do anything because they don't know where I am. And it's not like I'm going to be attacking anytime soon, so... We just got to get out of the range... Of sneaky sneaky.
and you're basically out of the range. So, go as far as you can and you're good. Simple as that. And, yeah. This should get me out of the combat, I think. Yep, they don't know where I am. So I just gotta go as far as I can without being discovered. And there we go. Just re-equip myself. Okay, apparently my speed is not high enough, even though I have a speed... I don't have any speed. Oh, there we go. Okay, bigger and better is literally the one thing that should be giving me the high speed that we need. Not sure why... Okay, for some reason bigger and better is not activating in some instances, which is weird. But, whatever. We done did it, so there you go. We're gonna save here. Overwrites. And hey. Impressive. They'll see the spirit of the one stronger in you than anyone else I've seen. Even Murga. Okay, cool. Good riddance to Murga. Her and her. Okay, I'm slowed. Impressive. They'll see the spirit of the one stronger in you than anyone else. Um. Should I get a re reward? Report to Aran. Impressive. They'll see the spirit of the one. Are you tell? Are you telling me I have to repeat that all over again? Please no. God damn it! Just because the bigger and better thing just doesn't. You know what? I need better gear. It's clear that this is just gonna happen if I don't have a higher speed. Which is going to miff me to no end. Or it's gonna make me miff, rather, to no end. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna wrap it up here. We've managed to get quite far. We're probably gonna have to redo the, redo the fight, but get some different gear. Because bigger and better, for some reason, turns off every time you go through that incident. Which is not fun. So yeah, next stream I'll be doing that fight again. Which kind of sucks, but you, you do what you can. Or I'll leave it alone, I'm not sure. But the point is, is that I'll be redoing the fights, and then I'll be... Well, before that I'll probably get some better gear, but... I don't know. Who cares at this point? I'll, I'll figure something out. But, I digress. I am going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I know I did. And I'll see you guys next stream. Take care, everyone. And have a good day.